All right, a quick video for you guys. Um, I'm just going to show you how to remove your side shafts out of your um, independent diff housing. Uh, so this is a, a seven and a half inch Toyota IRS diff. It's out of a um, Lexus IS two hundred or Toyota Altezza. Um, so basically, what I want to do is pull these half shafts out. I've smashed one of the shafts, but the diff's perfectly fine. So I've just ruined one of the CV joint sort of arrangements um, so I'm just changing the, sh the side shafts as this one here my spare diff is a 4x 115 millimeter PCD and the one that I had in the car is 4x 110 millimeters um, so rather than remove the entire housing I'm just going to pop both side shafts out of this diff pop them out of my diff and put the new good shafts in all right, um, now they do come also with a six bolt arrangement. The six bolt arrangement is, is more along the, um, the Altezas with the factory IS um, LSD in it. Also um, front wheel drive, sorry, the, the front diff of a four wheel drive Hilux is usually the six bolt arrangement. It's a bit stronger, not because of the bolts. It, the, the actual CV design is a different design. It's a little bit stronger. So again, you can do this same principle if you said, oh, well, look, I've, like myself, I've got a 1J in my IS200, but I'm running this four bolt arrangement here. I'm probably gonna break those drive shafts as well. Um, so the next move for me would either be swap to an eight inch chaser diff or an IS300 diff with the six bolt shafts, or try and find some six bolt Altezza shafts um, to then go into mine um, and yeah, repeat this process. The, the diff itself, the seven and a half inch diff can take a, a bit of power. Um, but it's the, the axles and the shafts that's a problem. So, but anyway, this video is to just quickly show you how to remove these um, these side shafts. So, what you need is a, um, a hammer and a lever bar. Um, if it's a bit tight with access points, um, just um, something that you can um, hammer onto, like a, a drift or something like that. This is just a stainless shaft. Of something um, so you can sort of get a little bit of a you know different access point if it's in the car and you sort of need to you know hammer onto this rather than hammer onto I mean you're not using a lot of force anyway so all right so what you want to do is put your lever bar on one side of the shaft so one side of the bolt pattern you just want to lever it put a little bit you'll see it come up it's just a little bit up out of the seal and now it's onto that circlip that's at the base of the spot of the spline. Um, so you just want to put a bit of pressure on it, and you want to hammer on the opposite side. So when you're pulling it out, you're pulling it out square. You're not trying to hammer one side and push it on an angle. Um, that could damage something. So you put a bit of pressure on one side, and you hammer the other side. Now I'll just give it a couple of taps. Again, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on, on this opposite side, just with my hand. I, I'm not hammering it very hard. Just to free it, and we're out. So you can see we've got that circlip groove, just like in a front wheel drive CV shaft. Um, pops straight out. Uh, so, yeah. Now the oil level, um, this is a bit, bit of a tip also, the oil level is at the bottom of the seal. So, if you're doing it in the car, you shouldn't need to dump the oil out of the diff. If you're literally after a quick swap in, swap, 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 and done, um, you can do it without draining the oil. Uh, while you're there, you know, you might as well change the oil for the extra five minutes that it takes, but um, the oil level shouldn't spill out everywhere. All right, guys, I uh, hope that helps you out.